السلام علیکم آئی ایم میم شاہدہ یور سائنس ٹیچر اینڈ آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹیچ یو چیپٹر نمبر ون ود دا ٹاپک ڈوئنگ اے سائنٹیفک انویسٹیگیشن ناؤ سی دس پکچر واٹ از ہیپننگ ان دس پکچر اے سائنٹسٹ از ورکنگ ان دا لیبارٹری واٹ از شی ڈوئنگ آئی تھنک شی از ڈیزالونگ سم تھنگ ان اٹ What is she dissolving? Sugar. Into which? Into water. Can you see some other apparatus as well? Yes. Stop clock. Stop watch. Or thermometer. And there are some other measuring instruments like beaker, stirrer, china dish. In this picture you can see that a scientist is dissolving sugar into a beaker having water and she is using some of the ex experimental investigation in her experiment to find out that either sugar dissolve in hot water or cold water so that's why we are doing a scientific investigation today to find out what is our problem that sugar dissolves in hot water or cold water dear students scientists use the same types of skills that every scientist or even you can do to solve problems and answer questions although scientists do, don't always find the answer to their questions they always use critical thinking in their search besides critical thinking Solving a problem requires organization, proper sequence. In science, this organization often takes a form of a series of procedures called scientific methods. So here I am going to present science investigation and different methods, different steps by which you can proceed your investigations. So basically science investigation has three main parts. What is the first one? Preparation. Tayari karna, experiment ke liye apne aap ko tayar karna. Number two, carrying out the investigation. Us tajrubay ko, us practical ko, jis par aap research kar rahe hain, jis ki tahqiq kar rahe hain, bakaida taur pe anjaan dena, perform karna. And number three, reviewing and reporting of your result. Or reporting of the investigation as well and the last one after getting your result final conclusion reviewing and reporting of your result as well by using different methods and techniques coming back to the preparation once again so preparation is basically gives you the idea about that which problem you are going to solve how you will start how you will start your proceedings so these are two important steps while doing your or start yourself for the preparation number one hypothesis number two variables now what is hypothesis what is the meaning of it an assumption let's suppose guess so what is the meaning of hypothesis in urdu کہ اگر آپ کوئی چیز سپوز کرتے ہیں فرض کرتے ہیں کہ اگر میں ایسے کرتا یا ایسے کرتی تو یہ جواب ایسے ہو جاتا جب آپ کسی جواب کو یا کسی سوال کے جواب کو سوچتے ہیں کہ اس کا جواب کیا ہونا چاہیے واٹ ول بی دا ایکسپیکٹیڈ آنسر آف دیٹ کوشچن سو دس از سپوز یور ہائپاتھس نا واٹ از ہائپاتھس ایکچولی رائٹنگ ڈاؤن واٹ یو ایکسپیکٹ ٹو ہیپن دس از کالڈ یور ہائپاتھس The aim of your investigation is to test your hypothesis. For example, as I told you in the previous picture that you could write your hypothesis in such a manner that sugar dissolves more quickly in hot water than in cold water. So this will become not only the related problem which we are solving out but also it becomes hypothesis. کہ ہم کیا کرنے جا رہے ہیں ہم یہ دیکھنے جا رہے ہیں کہ کیا شوگر یعنی چینی پانی میں حل ہوتی ہے تو جواب ہمارا ہے یقیناً ہوتی ہے شیور ہم اس چیز کو انشور کریں گے اب 
और बाकायदा तौर पे ये भी बताएंगे कि हमने इस दफ़ा दो तरह के वाटर लिए हैं जिसमें एक गर्म पानी और एक ठंडा पानी है तो किस पानी में शुगर जल्दी डिजोल्व हो जाती है ये क्लियर करने के लिए हम अपना एक हाइपोथेसिस सेट करते हैं जिसमें हम ये बताते हैं कि शुगर कोल्ड वाटर की नस्बत कोल्ड वाटर के मुकाबले में आपके हॉट वाटर यानी गर्म पानी में जल्दी डिजोल्व यानी जल्दी हल हो जाती है देन वी विल मूव टू द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट ऑफ द प्रिपेशन विच इज वेरिएबल सो बींग अवेयर ऑफ वेरिएबल इज ऑल्सो नेसेसरी वाइल डूइंग द साइंस इन्वेस्टिगेशन Why? Because you must know what are variables. Variables are those things, those objects, which can usually be measured or observed, and they can change. And you can use only one variable at a time in an any experiment. So in this case, in the experiment which we are going to perform and solve the problem that either the uh, sugar dissolved in hot water or cold water, our variables will be. the amount of sugar the amount of water the temperature of the water whether to stir the sugar in the water or not so you have to follow all these uh, all these things in your mind and then you will start your preparation without preparation you can't proceed the next step carrying out the investigation next part of science investigation is carrying out the investigation which involves the use of equipments what are equipments instruments use of different instruments measuring instruments which i told you in the previous picture that use of beaker thermometer and lot of other useful equipments which are used in your experiment and it must be chosen properly appropriately so using the equipments you have chosen to measure things like distance time weight area volume temperature solubility so these all things can be measured accurately by using the proper equipments the proper instruments in this investigation we will need to measure four different things the volume of sugar the volume of water the water temperature the time taken for the sugar to dissolve so first of all how would you find out the volume of sugar and water i think you have read this before because volume can be measured by using an instrument called measuring cylinder in the similar manner how you will measure the temperature of the water so you will use thermometer yes very good Now, in the similar manner, you need to uh, observe the time which which is required to sugar or for the sugar to dissolve in water. So, for this purpose, you need a stop clock, stop watch. So, all these things must be present in your uh, proper experiment. Otherwise, you won't perform your experiment, and you will not get your desired result. another important thing is use of handling data that is the representation of your whole experimental observation or data in the form of table so the table is the best or probably the best way to record them in your investigation so this choosing the most appropriate way of recording your result is in this case is table you have to present this in the form of table third part of science investigation is review and reporting of the investigation which you have performed so this involves writing up what you did and what happened during your investigation including diagrams of your apparatus and so many other methods which you can use to represent your result that is the conclusion so for this purpose you need to plot a graph and i told you in my previous lecture how you will plot a graph so graph is the best way to represent to report your investigation another important thing about explaining your result and saying whether your hypothesis was correct or not in this case the hypothesis is correct and we know that sugar 
dissolves in hot water as compared to the cold water and this statement which we have said before in our hypothesis is correct that's why we are now confirmed about our conclusion or result that is yes answer is yes our hypothesis is absolutely correct because sugar dissolves in hot water more quickly than in cold water Dear student, this is the summary of your scientific investigation. Starting from your first point, solving the scientific problem. So you can see here the series of procedure which are shown all over here in one way to use scientific method to solve a problem. So starting once again from the scientific problem, we have to solve it systematically and logically. Then we have to state our problem, that is, what is the statement of the problem. So we have to give one or two sentences on it. In the third, you can see the collection of data, how you will gather your data about your problem. Fourth, which is the most important one in the preparation of your scientific investigation is hypothesis, an assumption which you have to make. So construct a hypothesis is another way to represent, to start your experimental work. The next is experiments. You have to perform different experiments to prove your hypothesis. Either it's correct or incorrect. Afterwards, you have to conclude your experimental result in the form of analysis, which you have to do in different data presentation method using graph, table, bar chart and so many other techniques and in the last your final result that is the conclusion has been taken out now here we are facing two problems number one if the hypothesis is supported that is if the hypothesis is correct then it indicates that you have done a superb job your result is successful your experimental work is succeeded and in that case, you have to perform your experiments many times for that there or its verification. But unfortunately, if you are not successful and your hypothesis is not supported, not correct, then you have to move your hypothesis back. You have to construct your hypothesis once again and repeat all the procedure once again.